2002. You were at school in 2002. I don't feel old. <laughs> no, I don't, because sometimes, sometimes inside you can feel quite young. In fact, the other week I was feeling 25 inside. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think he's only with 25. Sorry, that's just cheesy and crap. Uh, but funny. Or true. No, just funny. <laughs> um, thanks, Ed, your diary. Woo! <laughs> um, we're going to move on now. And um, Caparella Hooper, you need to shuffle from where you are to the side so by the time it is your turn which is now and we clap and come on so you're going to be really glad that come on stand up that your half term which was quite recently um as young as he was then as you are now um, i'm going to do this for you because you're tiddly aren't you that's okay you're about that tall how tall are you five foot five <laughs> That's okay. Five foot and newly born. Who was going to do the thing? Are you on the thing? Good. Yeah, good. Thing, thing. Um, you've got quite a few friends in this evening that have come to watch you, haven't you? Like the whole of this side. <laughs> I know. Point it out. I like to pretend. Well, I'm just going to come down to your level. I like to pretend that they're real audience, as opposed to just your friends and family. <coughs> So can we guess which one's you, Mum and Dad? No, it's not hard. No prizes for guessing. It's him and her, isn't it? It's him and her, isn't it? Yeah. Either that or you've got some really old friends. <laughs> About my age. It's fine. It's fine. We were all born in... No, some of us were born in the 60s. <clears throat> right, okay, so um, enough about my embarrassing problems with being fucking old. Um, Let's give a warm welcome to Caprella Hooper. Come on up there. Come on. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. You can probably tell that I'm underage, so be nice. But not too nice. <laughs> Otherwise, you will go to prison. <laughs> so, my name's Capriella. Capriella. You're probably thinking my mum must have been on drugs when she named me. But my mum's always on drugs. <laughs> it's kind of a big problem at the moment. But we're pushing through it. So you can probably tell from my chaperones that I'm here for school. I'm doing a project about mental illness. To be more specific, it's about anxiety and depression. If you don't know what anxiety and depression is, it's a lot like religion. It's not real. <laughs> But I can actually say it because I suffer from anxiety and depression, but these days, who doesn't? <laughs> anxiety and depression gets passed around more than AIDS in the 80s. Yeah, I just made a joke about people with AIDS, but it's fine, because they never get old. <laughs> I think that was a bit inappropriate, what do you guys think? Well, he's positive. <laughs> So the project I'm doing is a EPQ, which stands for an extended project qualification, in which I create a standard routine and write a 5,000 word essay. So I guess you can say it's a lot like a university dissertation, but without the crippling debt, unemployment and wanting to kill yourself. I admit that was quite deep and I probably went too far, but I only say it because I found out in my research that student suicide is at its highest since 2007, and if we're going to keep treating depression like it's a joke, <laughs> Having a mental illness is really difficult, especially when your family are so confident, like my drug addict mother. <laughs> Jackie, her name is. My friends call her Wacko Jacko. <laughs> Not because she looks like Michael Jackson, but there is that court case. <laughs> One in five men suffer from anxiety. It seems like a lot, but... Twice as many women suffer from anxiety. Bastards. <laughs> Life is so much easier for men. Like, no periods, no childbirth. That's why I'm single. 
But men and women uh, have different symptoms as well. Like men are more likely to have panic attacks and suffer from alcoholism, and women are more likely to have feelings of fear, uneasiness, heart palpitations, and dry mouth. I don't know about you, but I think they've just been smoking a bit too much weed. <laughs> My personal anxiety is a lot different. I uh, get really nervous and in front of new people, and my friends aren't very supportive either. They always try to push me into social situations. I guess that's why they have boyfriends and I have panic attacks. <laughs> <laughs> when I feel anxious, I feel like using a brown paper bag is really effective. Obviously, it's got a bottle of vodka in it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a problem. Even for a student, I spend way too much time in Weatherspoons. I was experienced the other day actually, we were with my friend Robson, and we were sat upstairs because it was one of those fancy spoons where there isn't shit smeared on the wall. <laughs> and we were arguing about who was going to go and get the next round, and it made me think, for years, men and women have been arguing about who's going to go down first. <laughs> I don't talk to many people about my anxiety, but then again, I have anxiety. I don't really talk to anyone. <laughs> but I started talking to my teacher about it because I thought it would help me in the future with my lesson. And he told me that he literally had no idea and that the first time he met me, he thought I was autistic. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. You shouldn't make jokes about people with autism. Because they don't find anything funny. <laughs> <laughs> so one in four people will suffer from mental illness. So... Choose three of your closest friends, and if they're okay, then it's you. <laughs> Thank you, you've been great. I'm happy to be I'm glad you did your introduction about who and why you're here, because I didn't actually want to say, God, she's so young and so little, and she's doing it as a... She's managed to blag her c college that she can do this as part of her qualification. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, I think you're on the right path because I've met so many dysfunctional stand-ups since I've joined this game. And actually, it helps. Who'd have thought it? When you have social anxiety, that standing up in front of people and talking about how fucked up you are really works. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't affect me that way. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, Henry, you going to come and do your bit? Okay, can we uh, move swiftly on to Henry Palmer? Come on up here, mate. Woo -hoo! Social media is a bit stressful, isn't it? Oh. Fair few individuals in the room whose morale is highly dependent on that red notification symbol. Perhaps I should talk slower. <laughs> before, before social media, hierarchical society was left at the playground, the workplace, the supermarket, and the home was a sanctuary void of judgement. But now, if you're a dweeb in those places, you're a dweeb at home too. Dweebs are defined by their unpopularity. In the playground, they're excluded from kiss chase. At work, they're denied party invitations. In the supermarket, their crush on the checkout person is never pursued. Post-service salivation will do. But what about at home? I was, um, I was talking with my mum the other day. I'd, uh, I just walked into the house, up the stairs. She spotted me and um, she'd said, Henry! <laughs> and I said, oh, hi, mum. And she said, you got 150 likes on your... Profile pic. Mm. I gulped. All right, and gulping didn't come naturally to me because I was really hard in school. <laughs> hard Henry, they call me. Then again, they call me soft Henry during less erotic times. <laughs> Perhaps they didn't think I was all that tough. Anyway, that's a story for another time. The point is, our mouth was acting freaky. I don't know if you've ever seen those animal documentaries where the roles reverse and the water buffalo starts beating on the lion, but it was a bit like that. And I don't know why I equate the predatory lion with my popular self. Probably because I was a bit of a predator in school, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, if I'd ever see a water buffalo, 
<laughs> you know, I would quite capably pounce and eat little bits from her. <laughs> Consume food deposits made during make-out time. <laughs> Have you ever been doing that? Um, kissing someone, um, um, twirling your tongue with someone else and found a bit of food, exit their mouth and enter your own. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean like a girt chicken wing. <laughs> Obviously, that's silly. Just a bit of soybean or something. No. Well, look, here's some advice, and keep in mind I've had one girlfriend in my life, and so something of a pro when it comes to the female homo sapien. <laughs> and it only works if they have long hair. Now, as you're canoodling, make out like the hair has become tangled in your mouth and then begins spitting. When the food has left your mouth, stop spitting. And buy her a toothbrush. <laughs> Um, no, but back to Mother. So, I'm getting this radiation of contempt from her, right? And it's just because I did better than her on social media. Her recent status hasn't gone down very well. You know, letting people know that you're settling down for the night with a tea and magazine just doesn't engage people like you used to. Sure, it got four likes, but you know those people are expecting reciprocal treatment. And I got this comment from some dude from her childhood. I'm settling down too. Law kiss. You're not though, are you, mate? You're divorced and deeply troubled by it. You still think law means lots of love. <laughs> and you're a notorious creeper. <laughs> In hindsight, um, fellow Bristolians and, and, uh, and Welsh brothers and sisters and, um, and uh, that special species from Swindon, um, I can see why, where my mum was coming from. You know, I, you know, I look at the youngers on, on social media. I get jealous. You know, I wish I could get hundreds of likes for posts, filtered pics, grams, instas, whatever these little heathens call them nowadays. I used to be just fine, right? Selfie. I invented the blasted thing. 2005. Pixo, remember that site? No. Those who jump on the bandwagon seldom remember the ground from which they leapt. They laughed at me back then. Said I was vain onto the loser. <laughs> <laughs> I am a loser. Truth is, I'm addicted to just that red notification symbol myself. But we are not machines! We are not cattle! We are men! I'm sorry. From a video I liked earlier. I wonder if anyone's responded. I should check that. I need to go. Thank you so much for your time. In fact, he bottled out earlier and said he wasn't going to. So, congratulations, mate. Well done that you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, there was somebody else here. Dave earlier was saying, oh, how do I get on stage? But you didn't have a West Country accent. You've just made me do that because you did it earlier. Sorry. And I was like, well, it's sort of here. We're just here. And um, have you, whoever's been on tonight, have you enjoyed coming up here and making a fool of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant! So you too can do it. Just get in touch with our Facebook page at the bottom there. And um, I've decided, because we're nearly up to 500 likes or 500 people on the page. So when we have 500 members, I'm going to do something really special for the 500th member. <laughs> or with the 500th member. <laughs> um, we've got Sean and Stu on next, and I don't think they want a microphone or a microphone stand that's so fucking dysfunctional. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You'll need it. Okay, they don't need it because they're loud, mouthy bastards. Get that yourself. So please put your hands together for Sean and Stu. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Brother Sean, and I'm Brother Stu, and we're here today to bring you the good news and share the life force. Shall I tell him? Please, go ahead, go ahead. We've discovered the pleasures of... Cannibalism! <laughs> and we want you... No, no, not to eat, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. We no. want you to join us so you can all share the life force with us. 
This is the unifying life force that binds us all together and is modern, modern cannibalism. cannibalism. No, no, there's, there's no, no, there's nothing to be frightened of at all. No, don't worry about it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's OK. 